I'm Glenda, I'm Glenda, I'm Glenda the Good Feminist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. Why, hello. I'm Glenda, the Good Feminist. But I thought all feminists were... Ugly? No, only bad feminists are ugly. I was gonna say unwilling to have a conversation, but okay. Right. Well, my dear, what can I do for you? Well, you see, I went on this date with this celebrity. Oh, you were hit on by a celebrity. Well, that power dynamic can be quite problematic. Actually, I hit on him. You know, at first he didn't seem that interested in me, so then I pointed out that we both had the same camera and I had an in. I, I see. And then a couple weeks later, like, we were texting and we were flirting and we decided to go on a date and I was trying on all my, you know, favorite dresses and it was gonna be just so perfect. And then he ordered red wine when I like white wine in order to get you drunk. No, I was sober. But anyway, he just seemed in like such a rush to get me back to his apartment. You know, it's actually the same place where Taylor Swift has an apartment. Well, that's an old thing to bring up. I told him he had a really nice countertop and then he like plops me on top of the countertop and then we start making out. But then he starts being like really forceful. Like how? Is he holding you down? Is he threatening you? No, but he did say he was gonna go get a condom and, and I told him to slow down. And then you left. No, he stuck his fingers down my throat and then I undressed him and he undressed me and then he gave me oral and then I gave him oral like twice. But I really didn't want to. And you told him. Well, I gave him non-verbal cues. Which ones exactly? He should have known not saying yes is not the same as saying yes. Fair enough, but, but maybe, you know, with you kissing him back and the blowjobs, it might be just a tad bit teensy, a bit difficult for, for him maybe to read that as easily as you might. Are you blaming the victim? As if women don't have it bad enough an hour. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying that it might be an easy mistake. Rape is an easy mistake. Oh boy, uh, man, man. But, but then you left and made a police report post haste. No. I mean, I wrote an anonymous article on a blog and I shared it to the world two months after the fact. Well, that's all the time we have for right now. Well, aren't you gonna give me some advice? I mean, I have to shame this person to the world. I am a victim of sexual assault. Misconduct? What? Nothing, nothing. You, you doubt or you doubt my story. What kind of feminist doubts a rape victim? It's just that we have due process, and you know what you're describing it is quite a grey area, mucky to be sure, but it doesn't just quite meet the same standards as, let's say, Harvey Weinstein or Bill Cosby or, or Roman Polanski. You! You are everything wrong with feminism!